Some say we live in an information age. A belief that society can transfer ideas freely. And in the news industry, media outlets use the newspaper, radio, TV and the internet to disseminate information. But a new form of media may be revolutionizing the news reporting business. the events in Tunisia and Egypt, these can only be nerve-wracking times for other Arab rulers. An anti-government demonstration in the Algerian capital, Algiers, attracted thousands of protesters and an almost equal number of riot police, a sign of how seriously the regime is taking this challenge to its authority. The government banned this pro-democracy rally, but the organizers decided to go ahead anyway. They met with a heavy-handed response from uniformed and plain-clothes police. Mostafa Bouchachi is the president of the Algerian League for the defense of human rights. We asked to organize this march. The Algerian people decided to come out in the square today. We can see the real face of the Algerian government that banned this rally. Une qualification en Coupe du Monde. Un match de football dans une ambiance de guerre. Un caillassage de leur bus a fait couler le sang de plusieurs joueurs algériens en guise de bienvenue. La presse égyptienne accuse les Algériens de manipulation, d'avoir monté ce faux traquenard de toutes pièces. On est en pleine science-fiction, ce match devient une affaire d'État. Personne n'est dupe, euh, on ne peut pas imaginer des joueurs, euh, des joueurs qui s'apprêtent à jouer une compétition aux enjeux majeurs, se flageller, se blesser, c'est impossible. Le moindre incident... Uh, hi, I'm Orion. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Nicole. And we are the US team. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Okay, um, so we're going to answer some of the questions about media impact. Um, so the first question that we have is how do you keep updated about your country and world news? So we'll start with Orion. 
Um, typically we get free papers uh, at American University, free New York Times, so um, before my classes in the morning I try to read those, or um, because most of us have uh, iPhones, um, I usually will just look at news on my iPhone whenever uh, we get a chance. Um, yeah, I, I don't have a TV at my house, so I rely almost entirely off the internet and um, things that I hear from classmates. So I have a couple different applications on my phone that allow me to um, read the news. Um, yeah, same. Um, I have a TV in my dorm room right now, so in the mornings when I'm getting ready for school, I will put the news on, but I also have applications on my phone where I can read the local newspaper, and also we receive the newspaper at school, so usually just from TV. I think on also, although it might not be credible, Twitter is for some people a good source just because it's quick and also it's very unbiased because it's... Um, and it's personal. Yeah, and it's not regulated at all, so um, unlike newspapers. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there could be good and there can be good and bad to any news source. You just yeah. have to know mm -hmm. what you're dealing with in order to analyze it correctly. Yep. All right. That's all our Those answers. Are our answers. Good luck. Bye. Thank you. I hope it will be uh, useful for you and the message that we deliver and for the exchange be between us. I hope we can cooperate uh, another time in the future. Thank you, bye.